Welcome to Butter Recaps. Remember, spoilers ahead. Enjoy. Earth has almost become uninhabitable in 2092. Only a select few are allowed to ascend and become UTS citizens, leaving the majority of mankind on Earth to breathe in contaminated air and struggle to feed their family as the UTS Corporation constructs a new orbiting home for humanity that replicates the natural systems on Earth. The company is attempting to make Mars the new Earth by cultivating genetically modified plants there and making the planet a hospitable environment for humans under the direction of UTS founder and CEO James Sullivan. UTS governs them with a stringent system of laws and taxes in order to control the people in orbit and keep an eye on the non-citizens. As space sweepers, a large number of non-citizens from all over the world collect space garbage that is drifting in Earth's orbit and sell it to the business for survival. The story revolves around a group of space sweepers and their ship called the Victory. The crew of the Victory is comprised of Captain Jang, Kim Tae-ho, Tiger Park, and the android Bubs. Tiger Park, a former drug lord on Earth, is in charge of the ship's mechanics. Bubs, who once served as a mechanical soldier, now assists with ship repairs and casts the net for space debris while saving money for a full skin graft. One of the young geniuses supported by UTS, Captain Jang developed a number of cutting-edge technologies for the firm before turning pirate and attempting to kill James Sullivan upon realizing the dark underbelly of the company. Her team was killed in the process. Jang survived but has since had to change identities and receive an eye transplant. Teho, who was formerly a young soldier, is looking for his daughter Suni after she was separated from him and was launched into space. Before she wanders out of orbit and is lost in space permanently, his only goal in life is to raise enough money to hire a recovery team from the authorities to find her body tracker. They discover a kid in an orbiting automobile after picking it up. According to news sources, she is a robot with the name Dorothy who has a weapon of mass destruction inside of her made by the terrorist organization Black Fox. The crew also discovers a smartphone in Dorothy's purse that has a number of missed calls on it from someone named Kang Hyun Woo. When the crew returns their call, they assume the other party is a member of the Black Fox organization and offer to exchange $2 million for Dorothy's return. Tiger discovers Dorothy sketching in his cabin and strikes up a conversation with her because he feels a connection with her. To get the ransom, Teho and Tiger drag Dorothy to a nightclub, but she gets lost in the crowd. A massacre occurs as UTS soldiers lie in wait. Soldier 01 focuses on them and fires her blaster when Tiger and Teho find Dorothy. The three are shielded from the blast by a kind of force field, and Dorothy's eyes turn color. Through a feed on the ship, Captain Jang is keeping an eye on everything. She also witnesses the man calling Dorothy, Gotnim, and shouting after her as he arrived to retrieve Dorothy. The group returns to the ship, where Dorothy keeps herself occupied by playing and drawing. Dorothy responds that her Korean name is Gotnim when Jang inquires about her real name. Tiger befriends her and considers keeping her while Teho dismisses her, believing she is a robot. Teho brushes off the suggestion and goes to call Kang Hyun Woo again to reschedule the conversation. Finding tomatoes on the plant that Dorothy had assisted in reviving from a dead tree, Dorothy and Teho decide to sell them. Captain Jang examines the papers she discovers in Dorothy's bag. Bubs does Dorothy's makeup while telling her Teho's story. Teho was Soldier 01 when he was just 17 years old. Teho kills everyone on board a ship carrying a number of escaping non-citizens during one of his expeditions. When he sees a baby still breathing in a dead woman's arms, he decides to adopt the child. As a result of her awakening his humanity, Teho is rendered incapable of harming others and is consequently fired from the authorities, made homeless, and demoted to non-citizen status. Teho neglects Suni after a year of being homeless, gets desperate, and gambles. When she goes outdoors to look for a snack, there is a debris collision that sends her into space. Godnim is followed by a masked man to the factory bathroom. Teho and Tiger are alerted by her screams and attempt to save her, but they are ambushed by a bunch of masked individuals. Captain Jang steps in after Tiger defeats them all and learns they are additional space junk collectors. The leader says that Gotnim is not an android but a human child and that Black Fox is not a terrorist organization but an environmental one. Her father, Kong, saved her life by injecting her with nanobots found in space debris after she was born with a congenital illness. 
The nanobots not only assisted Gotnim in healing, but they also gave her a special ability. Gotnim was now capable of communicating with other nanobots and heal and safeguard objects. After learning this, Sullivan employed Gotnim to make Mars a thriving, green world. He intends to blow up a hydrogen bomb and murder Dorothy. Due to its closeness to Earth, the factory would crash onto the Earth as a result of the explosion, destroying Earth and leaving Mars as the lone safe haven for all people. With the assistance of the Black Foxes, who will find and transport Dr. Kong to the meeting place, the crew decides to reunite Gotnim with her father and deactivate the explosives. Teho and Gotnim are attacked by soldiers, but they are able to escape on the victory. When they try to escape, they are ambushed when they enter the factory where the meetup is supposed to take place. Before retrieving Gotnim, the UTS soldiers kill all the Black Foxes and Dr. Kong. In exchange for giving up on Gotnim, Sullivan leaves Teho with $4 million. The others choose to save Gotnim even if it means dying, but Teho accepts the money. When Teho goes to give the UTS officers the cash, they give him Suni's final remaining belongings, including her clothes, crayons, and Korean writing book. Suni had stated that she wished to emulate her father's virtues in it. This makes Teho think of his pledge to Suni to always be the best man she'd ever met. Before they all set out to save Gotnim, he returns the money and heads back to the ship with renewed vigor. The Mars program is announced by Sullivan as he goes live. Gotnim is secured to the bomb on a chair, which has been armed in the factory. Gotnim is freed by the crew, but Captain Jang finds that the device cannot be disarmed. It will obliterate anything in its blast radius as well as any nearby nanobots that are located within 5,000 kilometers. Gotnim must be out of range in order to save her nanobots and herself. The crew takes off to fly 5,000 kilometers away, but Soldier 01 disrupts them. She and Tiger fight, and Tiger launches her out of the factory. The group communicates with the other space sweepers, who assist them in fending off the enemy forces. When Sullivan reveals his strategy through the emergency communications channel of the space sweepers, the people of Earth learn of his actual intentions. Sullivan personally intercepts the victory and attempts to combat the crew in his own ship in an effort to reclaim Gotnim. Tiger and Teho are able to give the ship one last boost just as it appears they have lost the battle. This moves the ship just out of the blast range. Gotnim was safe with other space sweepers, as revealed by the crew in their true strategy. In preparation for laying down their lives to save Earth and Gotnim, the victory had taken the bomb out of the core and was carrying it away. Although the bomb detonates, Gotnim has contacted the nanobots to guard the victory, keeping the crew safe. Unfortunately, the authorities as well as the crew weren't able to find Suni's body because it had been too long since the accident. Teho is given the opportunity to say farewell to Suni thanks to Gotnim's powers. Bubs finally saves enough money and gets a skin graft. The group continues space sweeping together along with Gotnim, who is adopted by the crew. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more.